most people perceive Islam as a monolith. But the one thing that you see from our art objects on display is that Islamic art is all about a cultural mosaic. There are so many different cultures that are present in our galleries. And the geographic range is everywhere from Spain in the west straight through to China and Indonesia in the east. The time period is over 1,400 years. And so this is a major part of world art, which most people have very little exposure to. This manuscript that we see here is called the uh, Anwari Suhaili, or the Light of Canopus. It's a manuscript that dates from the 16th century, but its topic is incredibly interesting because it's something that we all relate to from different cultures. It's animal fables that are told at the, um, by two jackals who keep narrating stories and through that give morals at the end of each story. And as a result, we relate to them as similar to Aesop's tales, to the tales of La Fontaine. This candlestick is uh, approximately from 14th century, early 14th century. We know uh, we came to this idea because we have an inscription on the candlestick, uh, which bears also the name of the Ilhanit uh, uh, ruler Bahadur uh, Sultan. And it's uh, made of copper and zinc. And it has the geometric motifs and sun motifs on it. And uh, we have the idea that this uh, sun motif could be related on the most uh, famous uh, Konya uh, poet uh, Mevlana Jalaluddin Rumi and his uh, Mesnavi. My favorite object in the entire collection is our Spanish astrolabe from the 14th century. Fantastic piece of art, fantastic piece of scientific instrument, which is effectively one of the earliest computers. But what's remarkable about this object is that it has inscribed on it inscriptions in both Arabic and Latin, which shows you Christians and Muslims living side by side in Spain in the 14th century. It also has scratched on it inscriptions in Hebrew. I saw a piece, uh, a marble piece that was used uh, in the courtyard in Egypt and it, uh, it, it brings uh, many interesting notions. For instance, today the world is grappling with the uh, uh, green technology, green life, and this piece was able to, uh, to use water, for instance, uh, to air condition the spaces in those many years ago. It's just amazing. everyone talks about the East and the West and they think about Europe and China, the Muslim world is actually right in between. And this is the land, these are the lands that the Silk Road crossed, that the spice trade crossed. So there are connections that you see historically over a very long period of time. 